welcome to the curious cure where we delve into one of the most extraordinary chapters of medical history imagine a time when an incurable disease met an unconventional hero leading to a nobel prize winning discovery today we uncover the mystery of malaria therapy for syphilis a story of desperation innovation and controversy in the late 19th and early 20th centuries syphilis ravaged the world with no cure in sight the desperate search for treatment led to unconventional methods none more striking than the use of malaria enter julius wagner jure an austrian psychiatrist whose observation of fever reduced recoveries in psychiatric patients sparked a groundbreaking idea born in 1857 Wagner Jure was a man of exceptional intellect and determination. Working in Vienna, he proposed the audacious method of inducing fever in patients to combat diseases, particularly syphilis. Despite skepticism, his theory was born from meticulous observation and willingness to challenge the status quo. In 1917, a bold experiment began under the guidance of Julius Wagner, witnessing dire effects of syphilis, which had no cure. Wagner embarked on a risky yet innovative journey. He observed that high fevers could potentially kill the bacteria responsible for syphilis. This observation led him to a radical solution, infecting patients with malaria to induce fever. Wagner and his team carefully selected the patients suffering from advanced stages of syphilis for the treatment. They were then injected with the blood containing the malaria parasite. a procedure that required precision and a careful monitoring once infected the patients developed malaria and experienced high fever this was a critical phase where the medical team had to vigilantly monitor the patient's health ensuring the fever did not reach the lethal levels we will hear more about that after a word from this video sponsor this video was made possible by environ life science limited thanks for the support environ life science limited is a pharmaceutical company dedicated to improving health and well-being for more information about them visit www.environlifescience.com now back to our video after the fever had done its job of attacking syphilis bacteria it was crucial to stop the malaria quinine a medicine known to cure malaria was administered to the patients the timing of this step was crucial to ensure the safety and recovery of the patients Many patients began to show remarkable signs of the recovery from syphilis symptoms. This success was unprecedented and offered a glimmer of hope against a previously unbeatable foe. The procedure was not without its risk and ethical dilemmas. Some patients suffered severe side effects from the malaria and there was a moral question about intentionally infecting patients with another disease. This concerns were part of ongoing discussion in the medical community. Let's find out what Dr. Narmada think about Dr. Julius Wagner. Being a psychiatrist has induced fever to treat psychosis, the neuropsychosis caused by neurosyphilis called as the disease of the century. When the whole world was behind chemics, chemicals and chemistry, he was trying to find an organic solution for this. And the courage of the physician, the confidence he had on his methodology and the ultimate urge to cure the suffering all of this led way to the new innovations a rewind of this history you might just that the solution for most of our challenging problems comes from the most unexpected places the impact of malaria therapy on medical science was profound opening a new avenues for the treatment of disease and sparking debates on medical ethics malaria therapy for syphilis was a turning point in the battle against the neurological and mental disorders it demonstrated that inducing fever could be a viable treatment strategy paving the way for the future therapies inspired by wagner works researcher explored other methods to induce fever leading to innovation in treating various other diseases this era of experimentation expanded the boundaries of medical treatment the success of malaria therapy brought to the light significant ethical question the idea of infecting patient with potentially deadly disease to treat another post to moral dilemmas that are still discussed in medical ethics today while his discovery was groundbreaking wagner later years and his association with racial hygiene and nazism cast a shadow over his achievements 
His complex legacy is a subject of reflection and discussion among historian and ethicist. With the advent of antibiotics and other modern treatment, malaria therapy for syphilis become absolute. However, the concept of using controlled infection to stimulate the immune system has influenced contemporary research into immunotherapy and other advanced treatments. Wagner Durek's story is not just a tale of medical innovation, but also a lesson in importance of ethical standards in research and treatment. It serves as a reminder of responsibilities that comes with power to heal. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey. Together, let's keep the flame of curiosity burning brightly, exploring more mysteries from the annals of medical history and beyond. Stay tuned for more tales of innovation, courage and controversy that have defined the quest for healing throughout the ages.